Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Tyra. Today we're doing a wash and go with the meal, pomegranate and honey, curl defining mousse, and coal sculpting custard. This is my first time using the coal sculpting custard, but I'm so excited to do this combo today. As always, I start off with the leave-in because I need to condition my hair before putting styling products on top of it to give it extra moisture and hold within my hair and my styles. I always, always, always split my hair in a bunch of different sections when I do a wash and go just to make sure I'm defining each and every curl as best as possible and not taking big chunks of my hair and just not really being able to get through my hair the way that I want to. I did want to talk a little bit about the Miel controversy as I do a wash and go today. I know that recently Miel has just been in the talks on TikTok, y'all. I know y'all have seen it and heard about it if you are into natural hair or if you are on TikTok in general, I'm pretty sure something has come across your timeline regarding Miel and how the products are making people's hair fall out, scalp burning, irritation, like all types of allegations. Now, me personally, I am not a Miel's fan. And I know that it's kind of crazy to say that I'm using the products today, but this mousse I've had for a while and I have always wanted to try the coils, coil sculpting custard, honestly. When I say I'm not a Miel fan, I'm saying it in a way of I'm not the type of girl who is a Miel stan and who would watch every drop that Miel has coming out and making sure that she tries all the products. Now, I used to be, when I first started content creating, I was buying Miel products pretty like frequently and I was kind of just keeping up with the hype of every collection that came out and wanted to just try it all. But to be honest, I never really felt like Mio did anything for my hair. I felt like it was just all hype. Um, and just the branding of having her products was just cool to have. Um, and that's pretty much everyone talked about, like Mio, 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 Mio. So it was kind of like falling for the hype. But over time, I realized that I really didn't feel like anything my hair needed. Um, or I just didn't feel like there was anything that Mio did for my hair. Um, and I used her products for years. So in regards to wash days and, you know, keeping up with the maintenance of my hair, I just felt like it was an absolute no. So I haven't been using Mio products now for a while, but when it comes to the Type 4 styling collection, I never really gave that one a fair chance when it came to the styling portion. Um, I love me some mousse and I love me some gel. I love me a custard. So I did want to at least give the chance to try those products um, regardless of how I feel about the brand itself and the wash day products. Um, now, I do know that Miel's Rosemary Mint collection is what's been giving a lot of hype recently because people have been saying that they didn't realize that it was like a strengthening collection. I did see a take on TikTok from a professional hairstylist saying that any sort of strengthening um, wording on a packaging has to do with either protein or bond building or something in that nature that just means that you literally doesn't, you don't need to use that more than one time a month. Especially for those who are low porosity because you guys have very, very, very sensitive um, hair when it comes to protein. So, it's not even really safe for you guys to use that more than one time a month. And even if high porosity, for me, I make sure to include protein in my hair care routine just because my hair needs it. But I try to be very um, sensitive to how much I use of it because you can receive protein overload. So I just feel like sometimes even though um, things go viral and people have certain experiences with different hair care, there is a thing called hopping on the bandwagon and sharing your horrible experience that you had um, just to add to the mix of it all. Now, I'm not saying everybody's lying and like, you know, nobody's hair is really falling out. Everybody just want to, you know, stir the drama and the tea up. But I do think for those who are having issues, they're not reading, um, you know, before they're using the products and they're just using the Rosemary Mint collection because it's the most popular collection and they are, you know, damaging their hair and it's starting to fall out over time because they're using it too much with this saying it's a strengthening collection. Um, so that's my little one-two, one-two take on it. 
Um, again, like I said, I don't even use her, her products, wash day products at all. And these are the, the styling products you're seeing me use in this video are the only two products by Miel that I have used and am currently using when I do want to use the products. But, you know, everybody has their own opinion <clears throat> about this whole controversy. But let's get back into this wash and go and let's talk about my thoughts and opinions about it currently. Okay, so I am actually enjoying this wash and go. I've seen the girls on TikTok use this combo multiple times and I don't know, I, I like it. I'm, I'm not mad about it. The curls are defined as you can see. I am, I'm really enjoying it. The slip is amazing. I really, really, really love me a cool custard. And I love how this slip within that custard is allowing my hands to glide through my hair and to define it as best as possible. I honestly will probably rate the foam, which is actually a strong hold foam, as well as the coil sculpting custard. It's a deep def definition custard. Um, you guys, these words are chewing me up because it is like a tongue twister. But um, those are actually deep hold products, which means that it should give me a very, very, very solid hold um, throughout the next few days until I wash my hair again. So funny that I'm bringing that up because I had a TikTok question um, the other day that said, what does it mean when people say hold? That just means how well your hair can stay like defined um, with the product that you use. So for example, since this is allegedly deep hold, there should be no reason why my hair should frizz up. There should be no reason why the humidity should get to my hair at all. But we'll see towards the end of the video. Um, anywho, so far so good. I have no complaints about these products. And honestly, I'm actually excited to use them again um, in my styling just to see, you know, test it out, try it with a different leave-in conditioner, you know, just to see what it pairs well with. So I'm really looking forward to that. I also really like the smell of these products. It has like a nice sweet honey pomegranate smell, which isn't too crazy. It's like a, just a very sweet, subtle scent because um, typically I hated the way the rosemary scent, oh, gosh, the way I am stumbling over my words today. Um, but I really hated the way that the Rosemary Mint Collection smelled just because that collection was way too strong in my opinion. Like, it made me nauseous when I used those products years ago. Um, but thankfully, I really liked the way the Pomegranate Honey line smelled. I'm going to let you guys continue to watch me do this wash and go. Um, I start with the custard first and then I go in with the mousse on top. I do want to also mention that the comb that you guys are seeing me use in my video is called the Three Girls Styling Comb. I get that question so much every time I feature it in one of my videos, and I get the comb from Sally's. I have linked it in my Amazon storefront before, so if you want to go to the description in my video, I have the links to everything that you may see, um, and I know that the Three Girls Comb will be listed as well. But you can get it from Sally's um, if that's easier, you know for the accessibility. As far as the products, I got them from, well, I got the mousse from Target, and then I got the coal sculpting custard from Walmart. So if you're ever looking to get these products but you don't know where to find them, that's where you can find them in stores, or of course you can just order it online. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just zip it now and let you guys finish um, watching me complete this wash and go. Um, after I complete the wash and go, I do know I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse for a little bit. And then I'll check in again to let you guys know how I like the wash and go overall and if I felt like it held my hair pretty well. See you soon.
you guys, unfortunately the products did not hold up well. I had to be outside for a few hours um, over the weekend and my hair poofed up immediately. Um, so as you can see, the curls look beautiful. They look defined, but they're not as defined as I would have liked them to say. Um, however, I still like the products and I still like the way my hair looked. It just wasn't as defined as I thought it would be. Stay tuned and I'll come back with another video soon. Bye.